Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this video isn't going to be about the layout. Uh, this is more going to be an ATC update. Um, I'm going to sh basically show you how to set up ATCS on your computer. Um, I've been running it for six months now. If my computer doesn't fall asleep. I've been running it for about six months now and I found it works pretty well when the server lets you on. Basically, this video is made assuming that you already know where you already have ATCS, the program installing or running. Um, I do know how to do it the other way, or how to add it yourself. Uh, if you want me to, I can do a video on that too. But just send me a message and I'll do that for you. But anyway, first thing you want to do is if you download your layout file, which I can't show you how to do that because I'm not connected to the internet right now. I don't have internet here up in my room. But the way you would do it, or you'd go to your, you you go to the data files, you find the file that you're looking for, and uh, it it'll give you the file that you it'll give you the layout file and all the MCP slash BCPs that you need. Um, then after that, what you do is you this is also made on Windows 7. Uh, it should be pretty close. If you're using XP 8, should be nearly identical. I've done an install on 8, so I know how to do that. Uh, so what you do is you go to your folders, which you can see is down here in the corner. And I got a DVD in right now. I'll pop that out quick so it doesn't go crazy. There. And you go to your downloads folder, which is up here in the corner. You can probably see that. I can't quite tell on my screen because my screen is effed up. But where that little control, th the little arrow is, go to your downloads. And see here, I've got CN Waukesha Sub. You can see it's highlighted now. Uh, what you do is you right click and you cut that. And then you go to your hard drive, which is your drive C. It's got C in the parentheses. And then you go to program files. It's the same on all of them XP, 7, 8. And then you go to ATCS monitor. And then downloads. And you right click and click paste. Now I've already got this one in there so it's flashing a warning at me I'm just going to hit cancel it. And you can see the six that the five that I've got. i got BNSF Aurora, CN Waukesha, CPCNM, CP Wisconsin, and UP Metro which is a Milwaukee sub around here. But once you get those in place you can go to your program which you can see it's down on my menu bar and you start it. And you can see I got a dispatcher display that popped up. That's the CN Waukesha. I'll go through that in a minute. But anyway, the way that you set it up then is you go up to the actions bu button on the top bar. You click on it. And then the first option will be install monitoring kit. And you click on that. And it will ask you, uh, select monitoring kit to install. You go to your downloads folder again because it's already there. And then you click on one of them. I'm just going to say BNSF Aurora. And you click open. And then down here you click install. And it'll go through. And mine comes up with an error, error number 70, permission denied. I don't know why it does that. It doesn't actually harm the install. But if I click on cancel, it does that. Just click OK when that comes up. Um, if it asks you to make a readme file, click no. Uh, you already actually have a readme file in there. I'll explain that in a second. But once you get that up, um, you should be able to go to configure options. And then what you want to do for general is you want to set up minimize to system tray icon. You want to have that one checked. Check the box that says save settings on exit. And check the box that says begin capturing on startup. So that'll basically make it, uh, when you click minimize, it'll go to the, over here. And then this will this can stay up running the dispatcher display. And that'll stay up running, and this will just go into the background. So for Windows, what you want to do is you want to have max messages set at 1,000, not 100. Uh, some people have had that happen. Everything else is pretty much leave alone. Also, you want to have hexadecimal and mint. Minimonics, I think is how you see that. You want to have those two selected. 
and unselect binary. So then for data source, I'll get back to that in a second. Display, you click browse. If there, it'll probably say uh, see, it'll probably say MetroLink on there. You use you click browse and then pick whichever one you want. I've got CN Waukesha, so you click on that. Click on open, and you can go to protocol. You select ATCS and leave the rest alone. And DSP backslash GPS. Uh, I don't have anything fancy in there. And then you click apply, and okay and it goes away. Now, to get your actual server, you do need the internet to run this program or if you're not running off of a scanner. Uh, I don't run off a scanner because it's too confusing and I can't pick up the BCPs with this one. And I don't have a discriminator tab. But anyway, what you can do is you go to your folders. Once again, you go to your hard drive, program files, ATCS monitor, downloads, and you find the one that you want and you open it and then you find the one that says read me it's a text document it'll say that in the type you can see mine right here says CN walk shut sub read me and you open it and you can see right here it says CN North and Chicago divisions and all this other stuff and it's basically credits um, right here it says you should use the latest beta version which is what I'm running. Uh, some people run the 4.1.0, which is 4.1.0. Uh, that's the regular version. I run the beta, which is basically test, which is the 4.2.6, and it runs just fine for me. I never have any problems. But anywho, with the um, that one tab under configuration, uh, what you can do is you have to do this. Uh, you you have your server which I'll highlight this row right here maybe what you do is you take the server portion of it and when you go to configure options data source and you click add and right here it says IP address slash host name what you do is you take that why do I have two of these eh, that's random Anyway, you take your server, which is atcsmidwest.gotdns.com, and you enter that into, not there, you enter that into your IP address slash host name. And then, for the port number, which you can see is 4814, you enter that down here into your port number. You don't want to have any of the website in that part because otherwise it will not work correctly. If you put your but if you put your port number up here, it will not work correctly. Then you select enable and select OK. I'm going to select cancel because I've already got it in. And for other ones, it's actually kind of hard to find. You got to do some digging to find your server and port number and all that other stuff. But the server is different for all of them, or most of them. There's a couple of them that all run off the same guy's computer. But I can show you what one would look like. See on Waukesha, you can see it says ATCS Midwest dot com. Here it says my port number four eight one four, and here I have notes CN Waukesha sub because I'm running six different subdivisions and I have it enabled. So I click OK. You click Apply again, and you can close that out. Then what you sometimes have to do is right up here you have to click the Stop button. And then you have to click the play button again. And then it'll start, it should, data should start popping up on these screens. Um, mine's not going to do that because I'm not connected to the internet right now. Um, and then what will happen is on your dispatcher display, provided you have the right one correct, selected, uh, green, red, and uh, blue segments will start lighting up. So... Uh, the greens will be where the track is lined up for for a certain train. Red is where the train is. Blues are areas under local control. Um, and the names should generally turn red if they're cor if they're set up right. So you can see all mine are white because it's not working right now. Um, I can show you a picture. I had to take a screenshot for a friend the other day of what it does look like when it's running. And here you can see basically what it looks like. Um, 
you can see you've got there's one train coming out of the area called Shop South and you can see he's lined up to Byron which is white because there was no sig signal received and then mar north both marshes are white and you can see there's a green signal and then you can see there's one at North Ackerville there was one at, at in Ackerville headed south and you can see you can see right here the signals at Sussex North DuPlainville Rugby South Rugby you can see they're black uh, those actually when you're actually running it they flash before the train actually gets to line up so those were flashing at the point you can see this one's green it's just lined straight up and then DuPlainville nobody has the diamond yet and it's all the way through so that's basically what it looks like uh, you can also see in the background over on the side if I move it right you can see some of the data that I receive uh, this is all the MCPs and here's the active MCPs like Appleton, Badger, BJ East, BJ, BJ South oh that's from the other one but that's from my Milwaukee sub one but anyway so that's pretty much it in a nutshell as to how to run it and if I can get my camera to work correctly and I'll close out of the picture and the folders so what you can do is you can actually when you're running it if you have it running you can minimize this and just have the dis dispatcher display up but then over here it'll pop up so and another important thing is when you shut it down make sure it does the saving filters otherwise your data did not just save so that's pretty much it for ATCS um, if you guys want to send me any messages with any questions you have I'd be more than willing to help or I can probably direct you to a person who would know if I don't know which is a pretty good chance that I won't know I'm not super familiar with the software I know it a little bit um, so it's pretty much all it there is I hope you guys are enjoying the flashbacks uh, the digging through the archive series I've got three more ready to go up um, I've got a few club videos you can see 8622 kinda yeah you can see it uh, that is an MTHSC 70 M-2 I took this video or SC 70 a so I took this video at the club or that picture at the club I got a whole bunch more to go with it but uh, in the future I'll probably also do a soft EOT and a soft DPU video uh, those are two things that I run off my scanner via a patch cable that will basically decode EOT and DPU signals and I'll go through that some other time um, so that's pretty much all there is to it it's pretty simple software when you know how to use it and over there you can see a44 is in my display case. Yeah, I know it's it's not hanging yet. I haven't gotten a chance. But anyway, all right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.